Hey love bugs, it's me, 007 Georgia Peach. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul. Those are new. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and conversate with me in the comment section. I have so many new things I'm excited to share, and I've been waiting to share this haul for a minute because I cannot stand to see <laughs> things just piling up. I don't like clutter, so I'm really happy to get this haul out to you, so let's get started. I have a lot of the food items. Um, majority is new. Um, and maybe two repeat buys. So let me share. So this one is new. This is the Palermo Garlic Sea Salt with Grinder. And I think I seen this online. I believe it could be Walmart. And I think it might go for $5 or more. And it's just simply natural sea salt garlic granules. And it doesn't expire till next year. Well, 2026 but it's february 19th 2026 so that's pretty cool so it's pretty much what natural sea salt and it looks it says garlic uh granules but like it's kind of like dried or something like that so i thought that was pretty cool and it's sealed so so that's pretty cool and it is a 3.9 fluid ounce okay so i did try the red gold sloppy joe original sauce um i used turkey meat no, I didn't use turkey meat this time. Um, I had ground beef and it was really good. Like it brought back memories. Um, I did mine a little different, did a little razzle dazzle, added a little this and that, and it was really good. The toasted buns. So I got another one because I want to try with turkey meat. I eat a lot of turkey. Um, so I want to try with turkey meat and ground turkey, you know, and just, yeah, I really enjoyed it. So if you see this, give it a chance. It is a 15 fluid ounce can and it's made in the USA if you care about that. Non-PA, non-PBA liner and it's family owned. So this is pretty good. Yep. I thought this was so cute. I thought about my nephews when I saw this. This is the Elmo's. I might be saying it wrong. Um, it's just 4D candy. So these are blocks and it says fun play with uh, real fruit juice. It's a 3.53 ounce. And it just looks so good. It just, it's, it looks, it says blocks. I don't know why they remind me of Legos. So I got two of these for them. And they have the, do they have the flavors? They have the flavors on the back. And the flavors are apple, blueberry, lemon, and strawberry. And yeah, this does not expire to the 26 of uh, well, two years from now so that's cool they have a lot of this candy right now so this is great if you um want to do gifts or something or just try it for yourself because honestly i tried the strawberry ones and they were cool so this would be new this is uh the animals i might be saying that wrong but bear with me it's uh gluten free this is the peach burst and it's so cute um, you can see the little juice field in the peaches. And it's really soft when you touch the, the packaging. And this one is the pineapple burst. So they have the little pineapple with the fruit juice field in the on inside and the little green top. Like the little, it is so cute. So these, these are so cute. Okay, and I, I've tried this one. It is so good to me. If you grew up eating pickles with Kool-Aid, pickles with Jolly Rancher, pickles with the peppermint stick, and then you pretty much know where I'm going with this. So this candy here is new to me. Well, not new to me because I've already eaten the bag, but this is called Sour Punch Bites. So the flavors are apple, pickle, lemon, lime, watermelon. Yeah, but the thing is with each flavor, there's a pickle taste with it and it brings back so many of my childhood memories this is so good to me and addicting so i like this um sour not really not to me but it's this pickle i'm sorry pickle flavor bites hidden in every pack it is so good like it says like pickle at the end of like one of the flavors but no nah, this is so good so i bought one bag trying to be good okay so i've gone through these i only be able to haul one of these because i've we i've me and my son drank the other two 
So this is the So Natural Coconut Water and Mango Juice. And the other two flavors are the Mango Pineapple. And the other one is, I forgot. But these are good. And I'll tie in sugar. And it's another added sugar. So the total sugars is 31, which is very high um, for juice. Because I usually like to just juice fruits. And this one has an additional to me added sugars. It says 28 grams. So do with that with you know what you will but this is really good and i need to stop buying them i do and get my fruits this one is new sunny d it's the rocket pop and i'm looking for the other flavor which is a sherbet but my dollar tree does not have that one so this is the sunny d and it's a lot of the rocket pop popsicle because of july 4th everything from candles to juices to popsicles to candy it's coming out um in the rocket pop uh flavor so sunny d decided to join the party and i got this one me and my son to taste yeah it's not it's not a re um repeat buy for me sunny d back in the day it was i love sunny d back in the day but yeah this is Texas Pete sauteed garlic hot sauce. Now, I love Texas Pete, so this just looks so promising to me. This is a six fluid ounce, and it just looks really good. Yeah. So, if you guys try this, let me know. It just sounds good. So, if it's good, um, I need to try it quickly because Dollar Tree has a tendency to bring something out, and they don't always carry it. It's, it was just for now. So, yeah. And these are new, and I'm trying to see how I want to go about using this because I've never used anything like this. This is um, by Robert uh, Rothschild. It's hot and smoky bacon chutney, and it, it is a 5.4 foot ounce. It's I'm, I'm going to think I'm believing it's Ohio, uh, made in the USA. It doesn't expire to April 13th of 2025. Dollar Tree has been doing really good with the out for dates um expired dates i'm really happy about that and i'm just thinking because i don't know what to do i'm thinking about salmon um to probably just do it on some salmon just to see or maybe even some ham but i don't i don't really do ham like that until like close to like the holidays or something like that and so i could wait but i think i want to try it on maybe some salmon and this is moroccan carrot spread I've never had that before. It sounds good, but this is how they look. It out, it kind of looks like body care or face. <laughs> it doesn't look like food type of stuff. So, <laughs> but nice packaging. Really, it it gets your attention. That's for sure. So, if you guys tried that or have any ideas, let me know. But that's what I'm thinking. So let's move on. They have bought in the. El Sabra, oh honey, here I go, I'm about to mess this up, I'm not going to do it, mm -mm. and I used to see this brand in California a lot, but I'm not going to do it, I'm going to hold it up, but these are the corn chip dippers, this is a 6 foot ounce, looks good, and they also have it in the taco little spiced chili and lime, it reminds me of Takis by looking at it. I don't eat Takis. It just reminds me of Takis. But it's pretty much like rolled roll tortilla chips. And that looks really good. I can just see my son seeing his bag and trying to take it from me. Which most likely I'll give it to him. I may have one or two and then give it right to him. Um, I gave my husband one of the bags so he can try. He said it's really good. These, these are the tostada rounds. I have another one that's like this, but the, the tortilla chips are a light lighter, so I'm not sure the difference in that, but I haven't seen that one yet. So I clearly was on a chip situation, or when I went into my chip aisle, they were fully stocked, so I took advantage. These are good too. This might be my third bag in this, the Chia Prones. They're puff wheat snacks, chili and lime flavored. These are really good. I really try not to eat a lot of this, a lot, you know, but when I'm in the mood, I'm in the mood. I don't cheat myself, but I try to do it in everything in variation. So, but this is so good. So good. And is that all the food? No. 
three more things. I saw these and I'm mad at myself that I only picked up one pack. But this is the Hidden Ranch Valley Dressing Dip and Sauce Mix at Buttermilk and Mayo, that's what it says. But this is a really nice size bag. It's 3.2 ounce. They just had it in a, um, like a basket um, that Dollar Tree carries. And I guess they chose to kind of stack them in there. So it was, it was really easy to miss, but I have a tendency to look from the bottom to the top, left to right, right to left, so I won't miss anything. And kind of, I'm kind of mad that I only, I only picked up one. But again, the date is until January 2025. So, yeah, happy about that. Okay, the last two food items. I'm kind of mad that I only got one bag of these of each. But these are the color it candy, and I like to do a lot of baking and creativity things. And I only got one in this gold color, and one in this blue color. They do have the smaller ones. Um, I didn't pick it up. I don't know why, but I did not. Uh, um, and I probably was hesitant because now my boys are older and grown. So a lot of the bacon and creativity is like now that they're grown. Baby, they don't care about that. It's me. It's me. Um, so that's why I probably was like going back and forth with myself about it. But I like to create, so I might just do it even if it's for me. Um, I saw this and I thought about my niece. So these are the Barbie flossers. You get 45 and pretty much it's just the packaging. It's in bubblegum flavor, they say. Oh, I like the little, little, little melon the girl with her braids. How cute is that? How cute. Hi, girls. Okay. So it's bubblegum flavored and yeah. So that's what got me. It was the packaging. Because it could have been just a regular package with all these colors and I would have not paid any attention to it. Not at all. But they put Barbie, stop Barbie on it and said it's bubblegum flavored. And here I am picking that up for her. Okay, let's get into, um, I don't know what you want to call it, socks and shoes. <laughs> so I only got one pair of socks. Okay, so the Space Jam, I grew up with this, with, with this, my era. <laughs> and I'm loving these because you get like, so this will be four pair of socks for each so you i forgot the martian man i don't know if that's his name I, I don't even know and then you get the let's see i think the other sock just says space jam or does it just say it on the back oh no it just said on the back of this one what does this one say oh i still have him on here he just has a green helmet no oh, he's got a green helmet on here what does it say I'm not sure. But anyway, they feel really nice. Um, the sizes are shoe size 6 to 12, so that's good. So, oh, yeah. Really good. I got these. Just I'm just going to give them to my niece because I, um, I just realized that the, I'm not going to be able to fit these. But I think um, Walmart carries this. It is called Fuzzy Bubba. And the sizes are 7 to 9 and a half. But no, these are kid, probably kid sizes. But if you have a smaller foot, then it will fit you. But they feel really nice. I mean, look at this. Look look at that face. How cute. Like, it's, it's really nicely made and it has the little things. So, and then I got it in this one, which is nice and cozy. And you still have that. This one, it doesn't have, let me see, does it have? No, it doesn't have those, I don't know what you want to call them, I'm, not thinking right now, but they have the name of the fuzzy bubble on the, on the back of these. But they feel so really nice and comfortable. So, hopefully she likes it. Um, Moving on. I was really excited to see these. Last time I see these. I saw these. I'm sorry. Um, A young lady bought them all. So, I was like, I got over there too late. Um, But I'm sure she has her reasons. I just missed out. And I know that I was going to run into them later. But these are simply like the glass bottles here. I was really happy to see these because I love to juice my own juices and make my own concoctions. So to see these, I was really excited about it. You hear that? I love that sound. So they're really, they're okay. Glass bottles. It doesn't have a ounce on it. But I wanted to make my ginger ale 
and I know I need something like this to allow my ginger bulb to burp, feed it, and before I make my ginger ale soda, okay? So yeah, really happy to have these, so now I can get busy. So I got two of those, and I got one of these, um, because usually when I find the toothbrush covers, you get like a lot, and I try to get a lot to kind of cover everyone in the household. Um, but this is the Gurunanda toothbrush protector. It has natural vapors from pure essential oils, and it says it's keep it keeps your toothbrush clean and fresh. Uh, ideal for home and travel. I just chose this one. They did have clear, but that was the time I went and decided not to get it. Now that I wanted it, now they have this color and some other colors. So I just said, let me just get one and see if I even like it. And I'm pretty sure I will because I do like Gurunanda products. So I got one of those and I needed more of the liquid skin. I love this stuff. I like to keep it in the kitchen when I'm cooking. And I always say if you play sports, work out in the yard, emergency kit, this is the way to go. Um, I'm looking for the band-aids they have out. It's not by this brand, I don't think, but it's just waterproof. And yeah, it's always good to have a waterproof um, band-aids. It sucks when you scratch, scrape, or hurt yourself. And it's time to take a bath or a shower. And now that the, the little boo-boo that you're protecting is now coming off, but yeah. Another story for another time, but yeah, I got this, and I will be looking for those band-aids that are waterproof that I've been seeing um, going around, and hopefully my Dollar Tree gets them in. So, moving on. Oh, I have some satin pillowcases that are in a different shape, should I say? Now, these are 20 by 30, and this is how they look. So, what happened is I found two, right? But I found one first, and I was looking for the other pair and didn't realize. I think I was confused on what um, they only had one. So I said, well, I'll get one, and then when one of my Dollar Trees stock more, I can get the other. I obviously forgot about that pattern and got two more, which doesn't matter. They will be used. And I, I, I like these. I like to um, just change, change them out. Um, I know back in the day they used to give us two though. We didn't have to buy two separate packages. They used to put two in here, but hey, what can you do? Um, they wash well, just have it on um, delicate. And I would say um, if you have one of those delicate bags, um, put it in there, it gives it longevity and on cold. Um, they usually work for me that way. Got some more Reynolds wrap. And yeah, that's that on that. I got some of uh, um, the Dawns. They've been having these in. I love Dawn, and I also like the Platinum one uh, when I can find that, even though it comes in a smaller bottle. Um, to me, it's still worthy because it does what it needs to be done when you're trying to get uh, hard, stuck on grease things up or other things that you can use Dawn for. I saw this hair clip, and I thought it was beautiful. I got one like this, but I think it was mostly pearl, and I think the one that I had, I ended up messing up. And I think I bought two and I gave one to my niece. So I have another one, which is so pretty. So I'm happy to have another one. And it's by Enchant, Child. I was getting ready to say Enchant, but I'm not sure. I don't want to mess up this name. I'm not sure where this brand is from or who carries it. It says New York. So it's not um, a Dollar Tree brand. It's not a Greenbrier, but it's really pretty. Finally, I thought I missed out on these which is the Hair Care by Twist. Um, this is the Prime and Co. 2-in-1 Conditioner and Primer. Um, I choose this color because they have these dials here that shows how much moisture um, you get from the product. So I got the shampoo and I honestly thought I missed out on the conditioner. So now I finally have the conditioner. I grabbed two. Um, they have other colors, like they have a white bottle, which gives you one drop of moisture. The black one, I believe that might be three. And I believe I have some of the products in, in, in black. But I need to look at that to see what it is. So if they bring out m more of that um, collection in that color, I know what I have. So I won't repeat by. Um, but yeah, I haven't used it yet because I didn't have the conditioner. I want to see what they um, 
do together. So this is by, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking Udad. So it's a deep hydration um, conditioner and it primes your hair, I guess, get it ready for styling. So happy about that, I got two of those. And um, I love this Be Pure Overnight Pads. I get them every time they have them or if I'm in the store, they work very well. Um, this is the size, this is the biggest size that you get um, in this brand. It's 100% cotton, it has Olay infused, lavender infused, and it's six counts, no dyes, no chlorine, and no added fragrances. So I just got two and got some coming with bleach because I needed more. You know, you know. <laughs> and this is new. Um, this is name brand. I think um, this is a, a silicone, a silicone, what is it called? Silicone acrylic. It's in clear and it's tech bound. That's the brand. And you can use it for windows, frame, siding, trim, and more. I just decided to get one just in case. I'm sure my husband would use it for whatever. But it the uh, features um, easy to clean up, low in odor, water seal, highly flexible, all the good stuff. I think when I saw these, they came up on Amazon a lot. I think these were like 19 or $25, but that was when I first saw it. So don't quote me because I know they have different sellers um, on a lot of these sites. Um, so if you want to Google tech bound acrylic and clear, you can look on Home Depot, Lowe's, maybe even Walmart, Amazon to see the price, but I'm guarantee you won't be a dollar twenty-five. Um, so I just got one. Yeah. So that is the end of my haul. I hope it wasn't too long. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's something that I hauled that you've already tried or you want to try, leave it in the comment section below. I would love to talk to you. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye guys. Bye.